Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brie, this is Balancing Life with Brie. For those of you that have been around for a very long time, I am back. For those of you who are just clicking on this video for the first time ever, hello. I took like a little break from YouTube for a little bit. So just wanted to update you guys. There's just been a lot of stuff going on, family issues um, with my Nana and she's like my best friend. So it's really taken a mental toll on me and it's been very difficult to muster up the energy to film on top of work. I had a childhood friend pass away recently, very unexpectedly, which was another thing to just add to what was already going on. And then I had my vacation. So Scott and I went to Punta Cana. We stayed at the Jimmy Buffett Margaritaville Resort and it was beautiful. It was wonderful. It was the break that I needed. So we got back on Thursday and it is Monday now. So I'm kind of gonna try to get back. Oh, I have red hair now. That's new since the last time. I'm also like in the process of getting another tattoo, which I'll show you guys when it's done. I have another like setting to do. But yeah, I just wanted to get on here and just kind of like say like, sorry for not posting, but I just really didn't have the energy and I didn't want to be like dull on camera, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to do my best to get back on track into posting regularly. It's just like I said, life's been kind of crazy with family and it, I just needed to take a step back and kind of focus on myself for a little bit. But with that being said, I filmed this before Thanksgiving, before everything pretty much hit the fan, this little next clip that I'm going to show you. So I have been wearing Ana Luisa jewelry for a very long time. Um, they sent me some stuff to show you guys before like Black Friday and I like I just told them I was like I appreciate it but there's no way like I can't do this and they were so kind about it they were like don't worry about it just do what you can post when you can so I wanted to show you these clips of some jewelry that I got that I really really liked you can see how excited I am about it um I have some of the earrings in right now actually but yeah I just want to show you that before we get on to anything else because you know I will say like working with a company the fact that they were so patient and genuinely kind about my entire situation i still wanted to make sure i got this out especially before christmas as well so i'm gonna insert those clips and then i'm just gonna show you you know my normal what i eat in a day videos and i hope you guys enjoy this hey guys so i just wanted to show you some pieces that i got from anna luisa i have already partnered with them in the past and you guys have probably seen me wear my gold necklaces constantly they're the ones who also sent me that little s um bracelet that i got for scott well that i got for his name not for him it's for me but they wanted to do another collab for me right before christmas to give you guys 20 percent off so i'm gonna share some new pieces that i got with you guys and i am seriously so excited one thing i can say for sure is that this is good quality jewelry i get really bad reactions in my ears especially if i wear earrings that are like cheaper these do not give me those reactions i can wear their earrings all the time i do wear their earrings all the time and i've worn their necklaces in the shower numerous times and it still looks good nothing tarnishes it is really good quality you guys know me i will not share anything that i do not fully believe in and i fully believe in this brand so i already took all the tags off everything so i can just show you guys what it looks like so first thing is these earrings so i got these little studs love obsessed so cute i think they're absolutely adorable so i got these studs i got three rings this time and i'm really excited because i did not get a ring last time and now i have three so this is the first one it is the design on it i feel like it's going to be kind of hard to see it's me trying to be hashtag influencer but it has little diamondy looking things on there and i think it is so cute just like a really cute pop of gold i'm a gold girly love gold jewelry so love this ring my next ring is my favorite piece out of all of it it is this snake ring and i just think this is the coolest oh, focus thing ever and then the eyes there's like little green jewels in the eyes which again it's gonna be really hard to see because it's so small and detailed but I ordered it in a size nine so it fit on my middle finger perfectly and I just think that looks so cool. Love this little snake ring. 
Next are other earrings that I'm actually going to be wearing today. I'm getting ready to go to a Friendsgiving. So let me take these bottom ones out for you guys so I can show you what these look like. And they're so cute. And on top of that, I have a ring to match. So if you guys are interested in saving 20% off, I have a link in my bio. I do not get anything for this. This is just, they send me the jewelry and then they give you guys a link. So just so you know, I do not get any commission from this. It is just a brand that I truly believe in and I think their stuff is really cute. I am, like I said, obsessed with these earrings. This rope look I think is absolutely adorable. Oh, aren't those the cutest things ever? I just think they're so cute and the gold always matches, you know, so it's easy. And then this is the ring that I think matches these earrings really well. It has these like little, they're not real diamonds, but they have like little diamondies on them. And I can just slide that right on my pinky finger. And it's a, it's a look. They match, they're braided, I think they're so cute. So I'm actually going to go pop two of my necklaces on that they sent me before. Probably the Leo one, I love that one. I wear it all the time and one of the chains, I like to like layer those and then your girl's gonna be out to think Friendsgiving. So, just so you know, like I said, I love this brand. I never talk to you about brands that I don't love. Love them. They're very, very kind to work with. The brand itself is carbon neutral. Their packaging is carbon neutral and like the package that they send stuff in and their packaging as well, which I really appreciate because I'm all about saving the planet. You guys know me, I'm a scientist. That's kind of what I live for. Anyway, so yeah. Everything's down below. I'm going to be ordering some stuff for my friends and family for Christmas with my own link for sure. But I just want to show you guys these pieces because especially the snake ring. This is so cool. This is just so me, but very excited. Hello guys. Just doing a quick little check-in. I just got my eyelashes filled, which is very exciting. I love getting my lashes done and I love my lash girl and I will preach that until the day I die because I love them so much. Anyway. So, quick little update for you guys. I am going to be showing you guys dinner tonight. I don't know exactly what I'm going to make yet. I did pick really simple things that I've made before. Just I might make white bean chicken chili because I haven't had that in a really long time. And I want it. This person next to me is staring at me, so I feel uncomfortable. Okay. Now that I'm away from they were literally like, staring into my soul um but I think I'm gonna make white bean chicken chili I know this week I plan to make white bean chicken chili crunch wraps a um like a taco bake type thing and then there was something else but my brain is just not letting me remember what that is but I think white bean chicken chili will be the winner tonight for lunch today I posted it on my Instagram but I didn't film it because I was literally filming the introduction to this video right before I left because I needed to like get back to work um but I okay so yesterday Scott and I were starving like starving and I was like I want to eat something, but I don't want to eat too much because it was already really late when we went to Kroger to get groceries because we were like getting like Christmas stuff. We were like shopping or whatever. And um, I was like, I want something quick. I want something simple. So what we did was we got a salad from Kroger, like the Caesar salads. You guys know I eat those all the time. And then the Tyson Anytizer chicken, piece of chicken. And I got the honey barbecue flavor and it is so good. So what I did last night, I cooked extra chicken so I can have it for lunch and I just put it in the fridge. Well, I ate it cold today, which I was kind of like nervous to eat it cold. And it was so good. The Tyson Anytizers are amazing and I would definitely recommend them. I put them in a Caesar salad. I put three of them in there and it was like just enough chicken because they're pretty big, they're like pretty big hunks of chicken. And it was, so stinking good. So had that. I am hungry right now. I'm very excited to go home and cook something to eat. But yeah, just a little update there. I hope you guys are like, let's just talk for a minute. I'll just talk to myself for a minute, basically talking to you guys. So Christmas shopping this year has been absolutely like the easiest year of Christmas shopping for me ever. 
like ever I feel like I started early because your girl likes to like I don't like to spend a lot of money all at one time I like to kind of like spend a little bit pay it off spend a little bit pay it off do that kind of stuff so I started Christmas shopping early especially like for Scott this year one thing if you like for your family your friends your significant others whatever I would definitely recommend creating a note on your phone and your notes app and anytime they mention something that they like want need whatever put it in that notes app because at the end of the year for Christmas you're gonna have so many ideas and that's what helped me like knock people out like really quickly this year so Scott's finished my stepsister's finished, my stepbrother's finished, my best friend is finished, Scott's family is almost finished, my mom and my stepdad are finished, I'm not gonna, my mom watches my videos, so I'm not gonna tell you what we got them, but, like, all of it's almost done, like, I'm literally almost done, so I am very, very excited for that, Scott and I are gonna have a present wrapping party, because that's what we do, and I also... I need to get more film for my Polaroid camera because I have one of the, like, I don't know. It was sent to me. It was actually my first PR package ever, and it was from Honeymade Graham Crackers. Hashtag thanks, Honeymade. But it was so cute. They sent, like, the Graham Crackers, a Polaroid camera, aprons. Like, it was super cute. And it's literally when I only had, like, 500 subscribers, so it meant a lot to me. But I still have my Honeymade Graham Cracker branded Polaroid camera. And I ran out of pictures. Like, I was so upset. So, last year, I took a picture of the dogs in front of the Christmas tree. And I'll insert a picture of it right here. And I thought it was, like, the cutest thing ever. It's the background on my phone right now. Like, I love my children. And I went to do it this year because we put up the tree. We put out our Christmas stuff. If I remember, I'll... Um, like film it so you guys can see what it is but uh like see what my stuff looks like but um what what are you doing hello this car is being super weird okay what are we doing okay so i got them in front position in front of the christmas tree which literally takes forever because they are like wild animals and I always do it with like treats I had like little pretzels in my hand and they were like trying to jump at the pretzels and like just be crazy but I finally got them to sit snapped a picture and it literally just came out black and then I like opened it up and then the next thing like it was completely out of film so I know my finger wasn't covering it I don't really know why the last picture came out just black maybe that's the signifying factor of your cameras out of camera stuff film oh my god um but yeah so I have to get more film so I can take another picture of them in front of the tree because I want to make it into like a reoccurring thing and I kind of want to make them into ornaments so I might put them in um resin and like make a resin ornament out of the pictures of the dogs and then Scott and I take a picture in front of the Christmas tree with the Polaroid and I kind of want to do that with us as well so we shall see anyway it's getting like really dark out it might not look that dark to you guys but to me and my astigmatism eyeballs it is so dark so I'm gonna get off here I'm probably gonna make white bean chicken chili I'm gonna show you how I do it in the instapot because that is the only way I like to cook mine and yeah i will check in with you guys later alligator thank you so much for being patient with me for those of you guys who just like hung out and you know were patient and kind about me like taking a little break it was much needed and i just really appreciate you guys doing that for me because like i said it's been rough out here so having a little bit of time to kind of like recoup get my head right go on vacation make sure my friends and family are taken care of um I just really appreciate you guys again like I said like for reaching out making sure I'm okay and then sticking along with me on this journey so enough with the sappy I will check in with you guys when I'm cooking dinner okay so excuse my crock pot I promise it's not dirty it just or my instapot it just looks like that I literally don't know why 
but the first thing you're going to want to do is add in some chicken i'm just using a pack of chicken tenderloins you can use chicken breast chicken tenderloins whatever you want i just use about one pack the recipe calls for one and a half pounds and i feel like i'm kind of around there Next, you're going to add some diced mild green chilies. You're gonna add two four ounce cans directly on top of the chicken. One thing I will say, this is a dump and go recipe, so it makes life so much easier. Next, you're gonna add one can of corn. I went ahead and drained the corn. It doesn't specify to do that, but I like my chilies a little bit more thicker, so I just went ahead and drained that. You're going to add two cans of Great Northern Beans. You're gonna drain them, but you're not going to rinse them. So I had already drained these before I started filming. Then you're going to add some chicken broth. So you're gonna add one and three fourth cups of chicken broth. I use the low sodium, that's the one that I've always used. After that, you're gonna add all of your spices. So you're gonna add two teaspoons of cumin, two teaspoons of garlic powder, two teaspoons of onion powder, two teaspoons of chili powder, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of a seasoned salt, one teaspoon of pepper, a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper, and you're gonna pop that lid on. Well, you can mix it up. I always kinda like give it a good little mix. Then you're gonna pop the lid on. You're going to do this on manual for 15 to 16 minutes. I really don't think one minute makes a difference, but the recipe says 16, I did 15, and it turned out just fine. You're gonna let that cook. It does take a while because the Instapot does have to get to pressure, do all that jazz, and then it finally does what it needs to do. Once it is completely cooked, you're going to do the quick release. Be really, really careful when you're doing that so you don't spray stuff all over yourself. And then you're going to add in a half a cup of half and half. Stir that in four ounces of light cream cheese. At this point, you can take your chicken out and you can put it in a KitchenAid mixer to shred it. You can hand shred it. I use the KitchenAid route every single time I do it. But after you do that, mix it all together until that cream cheese is melted and it is done. You can add stuff on top like tortilla strips fat-free cheddar cheese, green onion, cilantro, tomatoes, whatever you want, but I don't add anything because I think this chili is so good on its own. I would definitely recommend if you are looking for a warm meal that is good on calories, good on Weight Watcher points, I love this chili. Hello guys, it is the next day and I have my lunch box here and I'm gonna show you everything that I'm taking back to work. It's honestly not crazy today. I don't feel the greatest shocker i feel like i always feel like poop but i was going to show you what i'm going to be taking back so as you guys saw last night i made that white bean chicken chili this is seriously my favorite it's so good so i have a portion of the white bean chicken chili i have a snack pack this is a lemon one so i haven't tried it i like lemon so we'll see how it goes Scott and I have been loving these cinnamon toast crunch bars. They are 100 calories, I believe. Some of them are 80. Okay, this is 100, 100 calories. And then I have 150 calories worth of pretzels. I also have my big water bottle that I've been drinking all day. I might make myself an iced coffee to go back to work because I'm kind of tired. I just had this like slump today. Work's been kind of crazy. Um, I like the raw materials to like make our paint. It's so hard to get them after covid it's just like the lead times on everything are so long so we have to like move around our projects and do this and do that and it's getting like really stressful so that's what i've been dealing with all morning tonight we have indoor volleyball i haven't really got to talk about that in a while but our team's doing really good again this season um this is the one that like i'm not coaching i'm just playing so it's just like to have fun so i have a volleyball game tonight and then i'm gonna come home Hopefully I get to watch some Yellowstone. So fun fact, my mom's been telling me to watch Yellowstone for a while and I've always just kind of like, been like, meh, it's not really my vibe because I just think like the way it's described, it's like cowboys fighting over land. And I was like, that just doesn't sound like me. Like, do you know me? That just doesn't sound interesting. But Scott and I, before we left for our trip, like bit the bullet and decided to watch an episode and we're hooked, like straight hooked. We got through... The first, I think we're on the fourth season right now. So good. So stinking good. Because I've been like disappointed in other stuff that I've been watching. Something that I did really like recently, because I like to tell you guys, like do a little chit chat about that. Um, Wednesday, I thought Wednesday was really cute. I hope if they make a second season, they make it like a little bit darker. Because like I feel like the Adams Family was a little bit darker. But I really, really liked Wednesday. Um, 
I feel like I already talked to you guys about Inside, Inside Man. That one was really good. But yeah, so I'm going to get going and I will check in with you guys later on, probably around dinner time. Okay guys, so I'm going to show you this super easy breakfast for dinner. This is what we had. So I bought this pancake mix. I've never tried it before until I made them. And seriously, I loved this mix. There's no way I'm gonna pronounce it correctly. It starts with a K, it's in a teal thing. There's 15 grams of protein per serving of pancakes. And they were delicious. They did not taste like protein. They tasted so good. And they were cheaper than the ones at Trader Joe's. So I really, really like this one. I think it tastes a lot better than the Kodiak cakes. I feel like those are kind of proteiny. These aren't at all. So literally all I did was make some protein pancakes. While I was making those, Scott was using the other burner and he was making some getta. So if you're not from the Cincinnati area, you may not know what getta is, but it is just a breakfast meat it's like really kind of funky to explain and sounds kind of gross if you're not from here but it's like a pork and oats type situation but if you've never had it it is really really good it is one of our favorite breakfast foods so I make I ended up eating two pieces of that and then I made some egg whites on top of it so very very quick dinner breakfast for dinner is the way to go all the time I would definitely recommend just want you guys to remember Things don't always have to be super difficult and extravagant to be healthy and for you to get in like the nutrients and the protein and things that you need. So just friendly reminder, sometimes your meals is the way to go. Okay, so I am making a brie version of the Slapdash Mom Taco Casserole Bake. She uses chicken and I am using ground beef. So I'm just going to show you guys really quick how I make this. It is super, super simple and really minimal ingredient. So first thing you're going to want to do is cook up some ground beef. I went ahead, cooked that up, drained it, and then added some taco seasoning, sat it off to the side. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to get a can of black beans, a can of petite diced tomatoes, and some onions. I use the frozen onion mix. That is my favorite. That's what I've always used and put that in a pot, cook it up until it gets warm, cooked. You're gonna drain the beans and you're gonna drain the diced tomatoes. You don't want too much liquid in there. After that is all warm, then I start the layering process. The first layer of this casserole is tortilla chips. So I take a handful of tortilla chips, crush those up, layer the bottom of the casserole dish. After that, you're going to add your beef. You layer the entire thing of beef. Then I added my mixture of my beans and onions and tomatoes did a layer of that after I did that layer I added some sour cream I had some sour cream left I probably used a little less than a half a cup on the entire thing and then I added some more tortilla chips on the top for some crunch and some cheese I put that in the oven at 350 for about 15 to 20 minutes until the cheese melted and everything got really warm and it was absolutely delicious I did put it in my healthy app I am currently doing the calories and it was about 247 calories for an eighth of the pan and a lot of protein from that meat and those beans. So if you're looking for a higher protein meal, I would definitely recommend this. Scott got seconds. We really, really enjoyed it. So I hope you guys do too. Okay, so sorry if you can hear my dogs eating in the background. It's kind of like a rush lunch today. So just want to say I should be back relatively for good um thank you again if you watch this entire video I, I didn't really get to post lunches this week i think i got one but yesterday my work had our like christmas party it wasn't even a christmas party we just went out to lunch but just to tell you like what i ate we went to longhorn and i got a steak and their brussels sprouts because their brussels sprouts are so good i love brussels sprouts but yeah that's pretty much it. I will have a video on Saturday that will be going up. It's a cookie swap with a bunch of other YouTubers. We're all gonna be posting holiday Christmas cookie recipes. Mine, I haven't made them yet. I'm making them tonight with Scott, so I'm kind of nervous. So fingers crossed that this video is gonna turn out really, really well tomorrow. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed already, please make sure to subscribe down below. And always, I want you to remember that every day is a new day to pop like and drop those pounds. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.